Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a system in our body that controls everything from our growth to our sleep. It's called the endocrine system. So what is it and how does it work? Let's explore. What is the endocrine system? The endocrine system is a collection of glands that produce special chemical messengers called hormones. These hormones are directly released into the bloodstream and control major body functions like growth, metabolism, mood, reproduction and many more. It's made up of glands scattered throughout the body each producing specific hormones that target organs and tissues. Think of it as a control center that keeps everything balanced through feedback loops. This system works just like the nervous system, but instead of using nerves, it sends messages using chemicals called hormones. So, what's the difference between the two? The nervous system uses nerve signals and works super fast, whereas the endocrine system uses hormones and although it works slower, it effects last much longer. Do you know that there are two types of glands in our body? Exocrine glands and endocrine glands. So if you talk about endocrine glands, they are ductless glands that release hormones directly into the bloodstream. They control long term processes in the body like growth, metabolism, reproduction and mood etc. The hormones travel through the blood and act on specific target organs. Examples are pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, etc. Exocrine glands, they are glands with ducts that release their secretions through ducts to a specific part of the body or to the outside. They help in digestion, cooling the body, lubrication and protection and the examples are salivary glands, sweat glands, etc. So, Unlike exocrine glands like sweat or salivary glands that use ducts, endocrine glands release hormones directly into the bloodstream. Now, let's meet the main glands of this amazing system. Before this, we'll have a look at what the system actually controls. So, the functions are metabolism, growth and development, reproduction and puberty, sleep and wake cycles, blood pressure and heart rate, body temperature, hunger and thirst, mood and emotions, I think pretty much everything. And we start with hypothalamus or the boss. It is located in the brain. It connects the nervous system and endocrine system. It controls body temperature, thirst, hunger, sleep and emotional activity by sending messages to pituitary gland. Next is pituitary gland also known as the master gland. This tiny gland sits at the base of your brain and controls other glands like a boss. It releases hormones like prolactin, TSH, FSH, GH that regulate development, blood pressure, energy balance, all sex organ functions, thyroid gland function and metabolism as well as some aspects of pregnancy, childbirth, breastfeeding, water salt concentration in the kidneys, temperature regulation, pain relief and also tells the adrenal gland to release cortisol, our energy and stress manager. Thyroid gland or the metabolism manager. It is located in our neck. This gland produces triiodothyronine, T3 and thyroxine, T4. Hormones that control how fast your body uses energy. So, it plays a key role in our metabolism. It also produces calcitonin which helps manage calcium levels. Next is parathyroid glands or the calcium controllers. These are four small dots behind thyroid. These tiny glands manage the calcium levels in our blood through a hormone called PTH, the parathyroid hormone. If they go out of control, they can cause bone problems and even kidney stones. And the next gland is thymus gland, the immunity trainer. Located behind the chest bone, the thymus helps produce T-cells 
which are part of the immune system and help the body fight infections especially important when you are young adrenal glands the stress fighter these walnut sized glands sit above your kidneys and produce adrenaline cortisol and aldosterone the hormone that helps you react quickly in stressful situations your heart races pupils widen and muscles get ready for action now the most awaited pancreas or dual function power house underline the pancreas is the largest endocrine gland in the human body and located behind the stomach the pancreas performs both endocrine and exocrine digestive functions it has two big jobs helping digestion and regulating blood sugar it releases insulin to lower sugar and glucagon to raise it if insulin is low it can cause diabetes if glucagon is low you may feel dizzy or tired due to low sugar also secreting pancreatic juice into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct gonads ovaries and testes a gonad also known as a sex gland or reproductive gland is a mixed gland that contains an organism's gametes or sex cells and sex hormones two key hormones are released by the female ovaries under the influence of follicle stimulating hormone the ovarian follicles begin to secrete estrogens at puberty estrogens promote the production of secondary sexual characteristics and the maturation of the female reproductive system progesterone is produced in response to high luteinizing hormone levels in the blood it helps to regulate the menstrual cycle by interacting with estrogens in response to luteinizing hormone the male testes begin to release testosterone at puberty testosterone aids in the maturation of male reproductive organs as well as the development of secondary sex characteristics such as increased muscles and bone mass and hair growth last but not the least pineal gland the sleep regulator this tiny gland in the brain produces melatonin which controls your body's internal clock or sleep wake cycle called the circadian rhythm that's why you feel sleepy at night and alert during the day so there you have it your body's chemical command center in action the endocrine system may be invisible but it's always at work keeping you balanced and healthy now let's quickly recap the major glands and what they do The endocrine system is like a hidden control center in our body. Through hormones, it manages your energy growth, sleep, emotions, and much more. And now you know how these tiny glands work together to keep your body balanced. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a lesson. Comment below if you have any questions. We would love to help. Thanks for watching. Stay curious. Stay awesome.